Hello, I'm Michael. I'm Noah, we're the Stanley family, and we're gonna show you how to do this DIY beadboard ceiling. We are currently giving our house a facelift with just a few minor upgrades, um, one being the ceilings. Throughout the whole house, we had popcorn ceiling, and we wanted to upgrade it. The first room, we have a three bedroom, one and a half bath. We started in the girls room. We tried scraping the popcorn ceiling and retexturing it and painting it, and it was a mess. It was not going as we planned. We kept getting frustrated. So I got online, was trying to look for different options, and I found one for beadboard ceiling, and I really liked it, showed it to Michael. He was a little hesitant at first, but he decided to give it a try. And um, we did the first room. We should have made a video of what not to do in the first room because we made a lot of trial and error, but we figured it out. And by the time we were done, we fell in love with it. We took before and after pictures, and everybody we showed it to was like, what's the ceiling? That's really cool. So then we just decided to do the whole house the same thing, and then uh, we did our bedroom next, the master bedroom, and then we did our bathroom. So now we're standing in the boys' room, and we feel like we got enough experience now to know what we're doing. We do a video and show you how we did it. It's really quite simple. The very first step you do is take down any light fixtures you have, and that's what we'll show you first, is us taking down the ceiling fan. So, without further ado. Next, Michael found and marked the trusses so that we knew where we would be nailing into. Next, we used a chalk line to give us a visual and help us line everything up the way we wanted it. After that, it's just measure, cut, hang, measure, cut, hang over and over again until you have all the beadboard home. Here Michael is cutting out the spot where the ceiling fan will go. He's just measuring, he make his marks and then he'll use a jigsaw to cut the hole. Taking a quick little break, because someone was needing mommy and daddy's attention.
After we got all the beadboard pieces hung, I went through and caulked all the little nail holes that would be visible and not covered by the trim. Then I went through and added a thin layer of white paint to the beadboard. I wasn't worried about getting it on the walls because I'll be painting them gray next. Next, it was time to measure, cut, and hang the trim all along the seams and the outer walls of the ceiling. I had already painted these white, and then I was going to touch them up after we hung them. Next, it's time for lots and lots of caulking. I went around and caulked all the nail holes and all the edges of the boards for a seamless, nice look. I went over and put one more layer of paint over everything, make sure I didn't miss any spots. I was sure to cover all the caulking with white paint just because caulking is sticky and it collects dust. And so just putting a layer of white paint over it makes sure it stays cleaner longer and makes it look nicer. The very last step is to rehang your light fixtures and ours was just this one ceiling fan so we got it rehung and we were done.